Electric vehicles are the confluence of many components working together. Each of these components must individually function efficiently to optimize EV performance, which is measured in terms of vehicle efficiency. In IC engine cars, this is measured in terms of the distance a vehicle is able to travel per liter of fuel. Vehicle efficiency also focuses on reducing greenhouse gas emissions and fuel consumption. But as EVs do not use fuel, their efficiency is measured by distance per unit of charge. Modifying an EV to maximize performance and efficiency is basically what optimization is. This can also be achieved through reducing their weight and drag. Let's start with vehicle weight. The weight of a vehicle influences the amount of fuel or charge it consumes. Here's a quick look at how this works. A heavy car like an SUV weighs more than a small city car, so it would take the SUV more fuel to move one kilometer than it would take the smaller city car to move the same distance. And the same applies for EVs. The heavier the car, the more charge it needs for propulsion. In fact, by reducing the weight of a vehicle, it will have an improved horsepower to weight ratio that will enhance handling, acceleration, and lower braking time. Efficiency in terms of weight reduction for EVs boils down to having lightweight cars with smaller battery packs that can power the vehicle to travel greater ranges. Sounds simple, right? Well, it's easier said than done because car manufacturers need to strike a fine balance between vehicle weight, energy consumption, and efficiency without affecting safety. So if we take the Tata Nexon, an IC engine car weighing 1,315 kilograms, and its electric counterpart, the Tata Nexon EV, weighing around 1,400 kilograms, we can see that the EV weighs more. And even heavier than all electric vehicles are hybrid vehicles with weight from both the battery pack and engine. This ultimately increases the amount of energy required to propel them forward. Heavier vehicles also experience more rolling resistance, otherwise known as the force that resists forward motion. Car manufacturers have therefore started testing out different lightweight materials. While most car bodies are made from steel for their strength and durability, this actually adds a lot more weight to the car. To reduce this weight without taking a toll on the strength and durability of an EV, combinations of steel and aluminum, magnesium alloys, and advanced composites can be used instead. For this purpose, carbon fibers and fiberglass are also used in the design of bonnets. Although the weight of EV battery packs come under fire, it actually reduces their center of gravity and makes the vehicle easier to handle at higher speeds. This design also reduces imbalances during travel and provides stability when making sharp turns. IC engine cars have heavy engines located in the front, middle, or back of the vehicle, which may make handling relatively harder than the EV. And now coming to drag. The force that resists motion when an object is moving through a fluid medium. So when a car is moving through the air, drag force resists its forward motion. For instance, if we look at race cars, they have an overall sleek design with a small nose to improve their penetration through the air. Even more so, they have an aerodynamically designed windshield that reduces the resistance of the vehicle when moving forward. The vehicle also has less ground clearance, which limits the amount of air flowing below it. To keep the vehicle streamlined through the air, there are minimal to no protruding parts. And in the same way, EVs have a streamlined design with minimal protrusions to allow air to pass around its body. This is unlike an IC engine car, which have to allow air into the frame to cool down the engine. For instance, the front bumper of the Tata Nexon has air vents, whereas the Tata Nexon EV does not. This difference in design reduces the drag in the EV variant. EVs are also designed with low drag tires that lower the loss of energy as the vehicle moves, in turn improving their range. Having fewer moving parts than the IC engine car, the EV loses less energy to friction and heat between parts, 
and is able to convert the majority of its electrical energy into mechanical energy that moves the car. This makes the EV far more efficient than its IC engine counterpart. Aren't EVs just the epitome of lean, mean electric machines? Thank you.